Hey guys, Straight for Tech here, starting off with a huge thumbs up to you and saying thank you for smashing that subscribe button to get me to 200. I do really appreciate the feedback, the questions, and the support in the comments section below. Now, on to today's topic. Today, we're going to be upgrading this HP Z240 workstation. What we're going to do is add a 3080 to pair it with the i7 6700 in here, and we're going to upgrade the power supply to support it. Removing the CPU power, the main board power, I believe, this. And then, then there's a special proprietary one as well. Once you've got all those removed, and then this is the SATA power. Uh, it wasn't used for anything, but once you got that removed, you can take that out. And then, you're gonna remove the graphics card in this case we're taking out the 750 Ti from MSI. It's a pretty old one, but not bad. So the HP Z240 Tower Workstation comes with a proprietary supply unit. This is a 80 plus platinum 400 watt unit and it's proprietary because it's got this little extra dongle adapter that's not standard on PSUs at all. So I had to go through searching on Amazon and I found a link from Comeep. And what they do is they make this 24 pin that goes into your standard power supplies. And it basically maps together to what HP did. So you can see that's that six pin here together. And then you got this little special unit as well. And oh, don't forget, it comes with this little cable tie just to be neat and tidy. It's, it's a little unfortunate, it's uh, all kinds of colors, but I mean, it's fine because the unit itself is covered and there's no windows to look through. But um, I'll link in the descriptions below the documentation I'm reading. So just in case, if you ever want to remove this and plug this back in, I'll drop that below because each one has a little P2, P1 that maps to the specific things on the motherboard. All right. So in this case, I have a SF600. Uh, it's a small form factor PSU, and there's this little bracket that I attach to it that makes it fit any um, ATX PSU head. So this is just the adapter, the 24 pin, right? And the special proprietary cable side. All we're gonna do is take this end, the end that would normally go into your motherboard, and that would just attach here. And then these ends just go into your PSU. And then the other cables will need two PCIe that go to the 3080, the Type 4s. Sorry, this is the CPU, right? And then these are the two PCIe cables that are gonna go into the 3080. So get those plugged into the PSU as well. And then the CPU power. So in this case, this is only a four seater for the CPU. So the nice thing about these is, you see there's this line here. You can actually split these up. Um, they come apart, as you can see, and you could just plug one side of those in. But I'll just leave them plugged in together for now. 
cool. And then I'll have some screws that screw into there. Those are all plugged in. This is CPU. slots for now so this is the main power board right this one the black one might need some more slack All right. okay so the main power goes there and then the proprietary one goes into this little white one over here. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna add a fan. There used to be speakers here. I just ripped those out because I didn't really need them. I'm just gonna add an Arctic fan in here. Get some better airflow because I heard those 3080s run pretty hot. So I'm gonna have fans pull in air this way. There's a chassis fan that comes with this workstation already. I'm not gonna screw this down or anything. It's gonna be sitting upright. Good thing there's these splitters on here. Plug that in. Plug the chassis fan back in. There's a little bit of cable management going. Tie this around the fan. I'm gonna do some benchmarking here for you guys just to see what it's like. And then also I'm gonna show you guys the wattage at the wall to see if a 600 watt PSU is gonna be sufficient enough. So I'm just gonna run a time spy on this and we'll see where we go from here. Excuse the mess with the wires though, but right now at the wall, we're looking at 313, 330, spikes up to like 410. So we'll see if this power supply is sufficient enough for us in our use case. I'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes. As you can see though, oh, terrible wire mess, but <laughs> excuse all of it. But RTX 3080, and then we're still running the 600 watt PSU. Not bad, I would say. The only difference is we went from a 750 Ti to a RTX 3080, so that's good to know. All right, so I found out a better way to show you guys the wattage reading here. So we're gonna just run the Port Royal now. Port Royal. And uh, as you can see, no overclocks of any sort, no underclocks. This is just pure stock settings. We're just going to run this port oil and see what the wattage runs up for this power supply unit. Pretty interesting scores. However, I am curious what it looks like out there for the users who have either a new 30 series card as well as paired with an older CPU like this i7-6700. Or if you have a newer CPU paired with an older card, please let me know what kind of scores you guys got in the comment section below. In the end, I think it's fairly reasonable to run a 600 watt power supply unit with this system. 
It was maxed out at 450 watts. I'll link in the description below a power wattage calculator that I utilized to feel pretty safe for running this system that I have. Again, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit the like as well as subscribe button below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.